Greetings once more. This is Rudolf of Germany, the tall white alien. Does life matter? I would like to go on a journey with you for a few minutes and then afterwards you can reflect upon this question. You can look at me, or don't. You can close your eyes and just listen what I have to say. Just imagine, imagine you are entering a tiny spacecraft, the so-called UFO. It's evening, the sun is setting in the distance like a red ball and you are on a patch of grass your family and friends are standing in a group in front of this little tiny UFO and you're standing in the door of it up there looking down on them waving your hands looking at your loved ones and just looking around and getting the feeling of sentimental despair. Trees, grass, friends, the sun in the background. What a beautiful planet, you think. This is my home. There is where everything happened. Then you close the door and you start the engine and you slowly lift up looking down again and your friends get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and further and further away and you start taking on speed it didn't take long and you see the curving of earth and further and faster you go eventually you can actually see this blue planet as a ball. You see the outlines of the countries and islands and continents. And you say to yourself, what a beautiful place this is. And you take on more speed and go further into space. And all of a sudden it gets dark around you and you see enormous amounts billions and billions of planets and stars. Earth is getting smaller and smaller. And you turn around and you look back at it and you are amazed how little this tiny planet really is. And then for a moment you look forward into deep space. You have to redirect the UFO, make some adjustments and take on more speed. But then again you turn around with a kind of sentimental feeling and want to look at Earth. But where is Earth? Where is it? You lost it. You lost focus and you lost this little planet out of your sight because you only see millions and millions of stars. And you know one of them is Earth and you know a minute ago you knew exactly where it was. But now it's just nothing more than a little spot, a little dot on the horizon. You lost Earth and you know you lost it forever because you don't know where to return to and you're flying deeper and deeper into space. Years go by and you are still on your journey and as years go by you're losing more and more your memory the memory of Earth, of your friends, of trees, of streams, of houses. 
the memory of earth itself becomes sketchy. Here a little, there a little. You remember one thing or the other, but it's kind of blurry and the years go by. And eventually you ask yourself, looking out of the window, looking at all the stars, was this only a dream? Is earth real? Have I been there? Did I really live on one of these dots? Or was it just a dream I woke up from? Or am I in a dream right now, which lasts 10,000 years and more? Am I dreaming or have I been dreaming of what they call Earth? Does anything matter what I think to memorize? Is there any value in it other than a sketchy memory of one of billions and billions of stars? Does life matter? Rudolf of Germany.